<clears throat> Hello teachers, uh, magandang araw po sa ating lahat sa mga nanonood sa ating YouTube channel at sa mga subscribers natin. No? So para sa araw na to, sa ating uh, integration session for today, pag-uusapan natin kung paano gumawa ng automated and individualized digital report card distribution system. Okay, so gumawa po tayo no, ng isang sistema kung paano tayo makapagbigay ng report card sa ating mga sudyante na digital. No? Hindi natin kailangan mag-print o kaya mag, uh, mag, uh, pumunta pa sa mga bahay o kaya papuntahin yung mga sudyante sa eskwelahan para i-claim ang kanilang mga report cards by using their cell phones, uh, mobile, uh, mobile uh, uh, tablets o kaya mga laptops, makakapag-access nila ng kanilang mga report cards um, from home. Okay? And um, sa para sa, um, um, sa process na to, uh, gagamit tayo ng tatlong tools. No? Um, so gagamit po tayo ng Google Docs. Okay? Um, Google Docs uh, para i-generate ang ating mga report cards. And, and bakit po Google Docs? No? Because um, gusto natin teachers na editable yung document para po pag nagawa natin yung document or yung report card para sa first quarter. Pwede po natin siyang gamitin para sa second, third, and fourth quarter by simply editing the same Google document. Okay, so yan po ipapakita ko mamaya. No? Uh, second, gagamit po tayo ng Google Drive para i-organize ang ating mga data kasi napaka-importante po na nasa isang, nasa isang organized space ang mga data na to kasi kapag nagkaroon po ng pagkakamali, kaya problema, uh, maaari magkaroon ng breach on security, uh, mag maaari mag-leak ang ating mga information o kaya uh, mahirapang uh, tayong i i ilagay yung ating data papunta sa Google Sites. No? So yan po yung pangatlo nating tool, no? yung Google Sites which is um, uh, basically no, uh, a website um, creator tool ni, uh, ni Google. Okay? So, gagawa po tayo ng isang website para doon po tinignan ng mga sudyante yung kadalang mga report cards. Okay? And again, this is individualized. Ibig sabihin, pag pumunta si sudyante din sa ating website, hindi po makikita ni sudyante yung report card ng ibang sudyante. Um, at sa halip na no, makikita lang niya ang kanyang sariling report card. Okay? And teachers, para sa uh, prosesong ito, no, gagawa tayo ng um, dadaan tayo sa tatlong proseso. So, unang-una, uh, gagamit natin si Google Drive <clears throat> at saka si Google Docs para i-build um, para yung ating database. Okay? Kung saan po kukunin yung mga data na ipapakita natin sa ating mga sudyante. Okay? Yung pangalawa nating proseso ay paggawa ng ating um, Google Site kung saan natin ipapakita yung uh, report card ng ating mga sudyante. No? Okay? At uh, of course, yung pangatlo natin is uh, magkakaroon po ako, magbibigay po ako ng mga suggestions ng mga add-ons na pwede po po natin ilagay dun sa ating uh, Google Sites para mas mapagyaman natin at mas mapaganda natin yung ating uh, um, automated and individualized distribution, this uh, digital report card distribution system. Katulad po ng, for example, uh, acknowledgement receipt. No? Alam ko po, marami um, required na makapirma si, si, si parent sa ating mga report card. So, pwede rin po natin i-collect yan uh, digitally. And as well as, uh, baka gusto po natin maglagay ng comment section para makapag-comment po ang mga parents o kaya ang mga sudyante tungkol sa kanilang mga grades o baka meron silang mga katanungan tungkol sa kanilang report card. Pwede rin na po nilang gawin yan sa loob ng ating website. Okay, so maraming salam. Uh, teachers, yan na po ang ating uh, pag-uusapan para sa araw na ito. Okay, so una-una po. Okay, hello teachers. So, ang first step natin para sa ating process for uh, developing no, uh, an individualized and automated dis uh, dis digital report card distribution system ay pag-build ng ating uh, database. Okay, so, gagamitin natin ang uh, two tools ni Google, ang uh, Google Docs at ang ating tinatawag na Google Drive. Okay? So, una-una, uh, si Google Drive is uh, for us to organize no, yung ating mga files. Napakahalaga niyang teachers no, for this uh, system to work kailangan po uh, naka-organize, uh, centralize yung inyong data sa isang storage file. At uh, pinakamagandang gamitin na dyan ay Google Drive kasi number one, it's cloud-based. Okay? So kahit po gano'ng kadaming data yung ilagay nyo dyan, hindi po yan mag sa inyong computer. Plus, dahil siya ay cloud-based, pwede siyang ma-share at uh, it can be accessed on online no, by uh, different people. And that's what we want no? uh, for the students to be able to access your data online. Okay? So, ang una natin gagawin kay Google Drive ay gumawa ng uh, dedicated folder. Okay? Pag sinabi ko, teachers, de dedicated folder, no? Folder po na hindi nyo lalagyan ng kahit ano pang laman. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, ang laman lang nitong dedicated folder na to ay yung report cards na gagawin natin. Okay? So, for example, teachers, dito, gumawa na po ako ng dedicated folder for uh, uh, my this project, no? So, tinawag ko po siyang report cards. Okay? 
So you can actually name it accordingly, okay? According to your preferences, no? Okay? Uh, so, kung gusto niyo po report cards, digital report cards, it's up to you. Okay? Make sure lang po, mas madali niyo siyang matandaan at makita sa inyong uh, files. No? So, pwede rin niyo po siya, teachers, uh, star. Okay? So, pag right click niyo yung teachers, um, pwede niyo po yung star para hindi niyo po siya nawawala. Okay? So, nakastar na po siya. So, what that happens now, teachers, is that when you go to your uh, Google Drive, okay? doon po sa... Um, Zoom in. Okay. Doon, teachers, no? Sa right side natin. Yan. Okay. Uh, meron tayong starred files. So, lalabas na po dyan yung report cards natin. So, when you click on that, uh, nandun na po yung report cards. So, you can easily access that. Okay. So, balik lang ulit ako, teachers, sa aking report cards. Okay. Okay, teachers, once you are done setting your dedicated report cards, no? Or report cards folder. Okay. Um, we will have to set no um, okay uh, subfolders inside that report that uh, uh, dedicated folder so when you click that for example makikita niyo po teachers meron na kong uh, uh, dedicated folders per section na po ito so i also recommend that you separate your uh, your uh, report cards no per section para mas madali niyo siyang mabalikan later on when you're updating the files of your students okay so, for example, meron akong uh, grade 11 um, section 1, okay? meron akong grade 11 section 2, grade 12 section 1, and grade 12 section 2. No? So, it depends on it, this num the number of subfolders that you will create in your dedicated folder ay nakadepende po sa dami ng sections nyo. So, for example, kung meron kayong 10 sections, so meron po kayong 10 subfolders dito. Okay? Ngayon, teachers, ang una natin bago po tayo pumasok sa loob ng ating uh, subfolders, Kasi ito po ay isang mahalagang step din no? as we uh, build our um, um, uh, folders. No? So, kailangan po natin iset yung ating subfolders. Ito po mga subfolders na to. Kailangan po natin silang iset uh, yung kanilang permission settings uh, to anyone with the link. Okay? So, click lang po natin yung get a link teachers okay? um, to uh, um, um, change no? the settings for um, this usually nakalagay dito restricted okay so uh, just make sure na mabago po natin to okay at uh, ang ating preferred um, settings ay anyone with the link okay and once you have changed these teachers i make sure din po natin naka-change yung uh, um, viewing settings nila kung sila po ba ay um, commenter editor or viewer we don't want them to comment we don't want them to be editor they will be set as viewer. Para po pag open ni student dun sa ating, sa file niya, he can only view it and download it, but not edit it or do anything about it. Okay? Because we don't want that. Mamaya, ma-edit niya yung kanyang document, uh, maging 100% or 100 lahat ng grades niya. Okay? We don't want that. Okay? So, this setting is already okay. Anyone with the link, viewer. Okay? And then, you do it for the rest of your folders, teachers. No? So, if you like, for example, um, check my folders, okay? Uh, it now has the same settings, okay? Oh, this one is restricted, so let's change it. Uh, let's set it to anyone with the link, and then viewer, okay? And then I'm done, okay? And then again, teachers, you'll have to do it for the rest of the folders, okay? So yan po yung ating kakalimutan, okay? Now, let's go into our folders, okay? What's inside your folders? Your folders will contain your report cards, Okay? So, for example, this one, naglagay po ako ng tatlong report cards, okay? Uh, the report card of uh, Purio Francine, Reformado Margo, at Santos Zeus, okay? Ngayon, teachers, ito lang yung medyo painstaking part nito, no? Because you really have to create one uh, one uh, report card per student, okay? Now, um, so, we already made a template for you. So, meron na po kayong uh, ready-made template na pwede gamitin. Alam ko po, may template din na binigay si DepEd. So, baka pwede nyo rin po gamitin yon. It's all up to you. Okay? So, uh, what you only need to do is to make one copy per student. Okay? And again, we want a Google document. Uh, kung, gusto, kung gusto nyo po gamitin, kung ang gagamitin nyo po ay Google Sheets, pwede rin naman. Okay? Basta ang point ng teachers, doon po natin ilalagay yung mga grades nila. Okay? So, you can actually use anything, no? Basta, ako lang, uh, personally, I prefer Google Document. Pero Google Sheets would also work. Google Slides, maybe, pwede rin, pero not as preferred 
as Google si- Google document or Google Docs or Google Sheets. Okay? Ngayon, teachers, what's inside? Um, so, this is now the report card. So, each um, document now is a report card of the student. Okay? Now, if you have, like, for example, 40 students, so you should have 40 documents here. Okay? That's the, that's the goal. Okay? Um, so, once you're done setting up your report cards, lahat po ng estudyante nyo may report cards na, make sure teachers properly named ang mga report cards, hindi magkakapareho, no? Uh, so, for example, this one is uh, uh, Purio Francine, this one is Reformado Pu- uh, Margo, uh, we also have uh, Zeus uh, Santos, no? okay? Now, teachers, now what we're going to do is to um, uh, change the sharing settings per document. Uh, at gagawin natin to, okay, itong uh, changing of sharing uh, of se- uh, sharing settings para we can restrict each document to a particular student. So, ibig sabihin, kapag si student uh, nag-access ng ating Google site at pinuntahan niya yung ating report cards, he will only get to see his report card or her report card and not the rest of the report cards kahit po magkakasama sila sa isang folder. Okay? And to do that, we'll have to share it to them personally. Okay, so how to how do we share it uh, to a specific person? Um, we click, uh, we right click on the document, okay, and then there's a button here, share button, okay. So makita niyo teacher, share, okay. Click lang po natin yung share button, okay. And then we will uh, now include the person, no, okay, uh, the email of the student. Dun sa taas teachers, makita niyo po dun sa taas nakalagay uh, name, pe- uh, add people and groups. So you will have to add here the name of or the email of the student. Okay. This should be easy for those who are using G Suite because you have a database now you can access the email of your students. Okay. Might be a little harder for those using a uh, personal Gmail. Okay. Because you'll have to uh, encode um, uh, their uh, email accounts. No? Okay. So for example, the email account I'm going to use for Francine Purio is kaagapaytc at gmail.com. Although na-add ko na siya kanina, that's why uh, nakapasok na siya dun. But let's just add it para I could show it to you how it's done. Okay? So once you have put here, na ilagay mo na yung email teachers, no? Okay na po yan. Dun sa right side teachers, meron kang tinatawag na, uh, ito na po yung viewing settings nila or editing settings, no? What can they do with the document? And we don't want them to be editor. So i-click po natin yung arrow down, okay? Beside the, the word editor, okay? And then meron po yung word na viewer, okay? So i-click po natin yung viewer, so, this is the settings that we want. Okay? So, uh, naka-viewer, um, and then, um, naka-shares uh, to a specific person. Okay? Once we're done, teachers, i-untick lang po natin notify people. We don't want to not- notify the person that we're sharing the document. Baka ma-preempt ang uh, sending of your report card. Okay? Share natin yan. Okay? Okay. Now, t- teachers, next step natin. We go back to the document, no? We have to make sure that the document okay, is restricted. Okay? So how do we go about that? No? Uh, we click on get a link or get the link. Okay? When we click the teachers, um, we're now sure teachers nakalagay dun sa baba, restricted. Okay? So ibig sabihin niyan, only kaagapaytc at gmail.com will be able to access this document later on. Okay? No one else. Okay? So kahit pa mag-click yung student to sa folder, ma-access yung folder, he will not be able to access this document because only kaagapay TC uh, has access to this document. Okay. So, okay na tayo dyan. Nakalagay na restricted. Um, we're done checking with that. No? Uh, this one, okay. Let's now um, share this. Okay. Okay. So, this one, naka, uh, anyone with the link pa, no? so let's change that okay, to restricted. And then, um, share tayo. Share natin siya to a specific person. Okay? This one is shared to Franco P. Adon at access.edu.ph. Okay? So, this, that's the, we're going to use this email uh, for uh, Margot Reformado. Okay? Um, sharing options, viewer, we're check. Restricted, we're check. Okay? So, that's a good setting already. Okay? Last one, last document. Let's um, check the last document. Okay? We're done with that. Okay, let's check uh, Zeus uh, Santos. Okay, let's um, share that. Okay, okay. Again, teachers, nakalagay sa baba. Anyone with the link, let's change that. Let's make sure it's restricted. The document is restricted. Okay, 
And then, uh, we add on top, teachers, sa taas, yung email ng sudat natin. This one is being shared to fadun at atneo.edu. And then, um, uh, viewing settings, viewer. Okay? So, okay na rin yung settings natin. Okay? Shared to a student, naka-viewer siya, naka-restrict yung document. Okay? And then, we click done. Okay? So, now, teachers, all our documents are done. Okay? Uh, Nakaset na po yan for sharing later at for integration for Google site. Now, teachers, nakita nyo, no? Uh, medyo painstaking lang, yes. Okay? Understandable, no? Medyo mahirap yung uh, pag-prepare ng documents natin. Pero, teachers, isipin na lang natin, this will only be done once. Once you have done this step, no? Yung building your database, okay? You will no longer have to do it in the second, third quarter, and even the fourth quarter. Okay? Kasi teachers, gagawin na lang next quarter ay mag-edit, no? Uh, nung inyong mga details. Mag-input, for example, ng second quarter grades, third quarter grades. Kaya po Google document yung ginamit natin so that you could edit it anytime. Okay? At pwede mo siyang i-update anytime um, uh, sa Google um, Google Drive, no? Okay? And um, if, for example, no, nagkakaroon din tayo ng problems of uh, generating um, re uh, the report cards na yun, sobrang daming report cards. For example, eh, kailangan ko mag-generate ng 300 report cards. You might want to consider using what they call Autocrat extension. Okay? Si Autocrat extension teachers, it allows you to create multiple documents no, uh, automatically. Okay? If you're interested, teachers, we have a full... Um, um, a tutorial session on the using of Autocrat and generating a digital report card no, uh, for students. Okay? Uh, we'll be putting it in the description. The link it will be in the description. So you can visit it and uh, check out the, uh, the Autocrat extension. Okay? Uh, for the sake of time, teachers, we cannot cover it now. Okay? So iba pong discussion siya. Okay? Okay, so now we're ready. Okay, uh, we're set, no? Our, our data is set. Okay, nagawa na po natin yung data. Nakapaggawa na po. I-review nat i-recap natin, teachers, no? Gumawa tayo ng folder. Uh, this a folder na yun. Um, that dedicated folder, we created um, subfolders per section na. Okay, so we have, uh, for example, in my case, I have grade 11, section 1, grade 11, section 2, etc. Okay? Sa loob ng mga subfolders, gumawa po tayo ng, uh, ng, ng ating mga report cards. So, doon po at nilagay yung mga report cards ng ating mga estudyante. Okay? And then, ang ating last step, we shared each document to each student okay? uh, by uh, clicking uh, uh, share, share and then putting their email okay? and making sure that they are on viewers mode okay? so that they could not edit the document. Okay? Second, we made sure that the document is on uh, restricted mode. Okay? So that only them can access their document. Okay? Pero again, teachers, no? Balik ako ng konti. Huwag po natin kalimutan yung folders po, yung subfolders kung nasaan yung mga um, uh, documents natin should be anyone with the link can access. Okay? And teachers, hindi siya pwedeng pagbaligta rin, no? Huwag po nyo siya pagbabaligta rin. The process should be done as is, no? Uh, you set first... Um, the folder, the subfolder to anyone with the link before you change the sharing options of the documents. Okay? Bakit ko po sinabi yung teachers? Kapag po nabaligtad nyo yan, okay? At ang una nyo po binago ay, for example, sinet nyo muna yung settings ng documents nyo, tsaka nyo binago yung folder, nababaliwala po yun. Kasi po, by algorithm teachers, um, all documents in a folder, okay, will follow the most recent change dun sa folder settings. So, pag binago nyo po bigla yung folder, lahat po ng documents sa loob nun will follow the settings of the folder. Okay? Kapag nauna po yung document. Okay? So, kailangan po mauna muna si folder para po you can uh, customize your documents later on, yung settings nila. Okay? So, teachers, that's it for our part one, no? ang uh, process, uh, ang ating step one for developing um, automated and um, uh, individualized uh, digital report card distribution system. We'll now proceed to part 2. Okay, teachers, nandito ngayon tayo sa part 2 ng ating pag-build ng individualized automated digital report card uh, distribution system. At ito sa part 2, teachers, ang gagawin natin na ngayon ay i-integrate na natin yung mga data na ginawa natin kanina sa Google Drive okay, uh, at sa, sa Google Docs papunta sa ating Google Sites. No? Okay? 
features sa mga hindi pa nakaka-explore ng Google Sites. No? Si Google Sites ay isang website creator ni Google. Okay? Uh, kung saan pwede kayong freely gumawa ng mga um, ng uh, uh, websites. No? Um, uh, at napakadali po itong gamitin. Kung, pero uh, for those na gusto matuto at gusto pang pag-aralan si Google Sites, no? uh, I will link uh, in the description below yung ating link to our complete Google Sites walkthrough para po ma-explore muna natin. Okay? Pero, teachers, gumawa na rin po ako ng sample um, template no? for um, a Google Site uh, dito sa ating kit na ibibigay po namin sa inyo. Okay? You can use this okay, uh, freely if you want to. Okay? So, let's um, click on the teachers. Okay? So, punta po tayo dito sa ating template for the report card. Uh, automated and uh, individualized uh, digital report card distribution system template. Okay? Haba po ng pangalan, no? <laughs> so, teachers, um, ito simple lang itong ginawa kong template. Of course, you can fully customize it according to your preferences, no? Kung meron pa nga gusto po kayong idagdag. Kung meron na po kayong Google Site teachers, wag na po kayong gumawa ng bago. Doon nyo na po gawin yun. You will simply integrate and create new pages. For example, meron na rin po kayong Google Site for your... Um, for your uh, school, no? Pwede nyo rin po yung gawin doon. Okay? So, wag nyo, hindi po kayo kailangan gumawa ng bago. This is only if you haven't created a Google site. Okay? Okay, so teachers, dito sa aking Google site, no? Um, um, ito yung home um, page, okay? So, this is what we're going to see, okay? So, para po magsimula tayong ma-integrate ng ating mga data sa ating um, Google sites, no? Okay? Um, gagawa po tayo ng tinatawag na pages. Okay? So, yun na po yung page ng teacher sa taas. Makita nyo dito yung mga pages na ginawa ko. These are actually sample pages already. Okay? So, this is, should, this is how it should look like. No? So, meron kang tab sa taas and then meron kang scroll down or drop down menu ng mga grade levels. Okay? So, how do we do that? Okay? How do we do that? Okay? When we want to add pages or tabs like this, pupunta po tayo dun sa right side. Okay? Uh, and then we click pages. Okay. Click natin yung pages, teachers. So that's what we do. Okay. Uh, teachers, erase ko lang to, no? Para po hindi tayo malito. Okay. Tanggalin po natin yan. Okay. That's how easy to remove a page, teachers. Okay. These are just sample pages that I created okay? um, when I was making the template. Okay. Papakita ko teachers sa inyo kung paano po. Although nakagawa na po ako no, ng ipapakita ko sa inyo mamaya. Pero just to show you how to create a page. Okay? So when you go to pages teachers, meron kayong makikita ang button sa baba. Okay? When you click on that, it will allow you to create a new page. Okay? So for example, this one. Um, lagay natin, digital report card. Okay. Lagay natin ng number 2 teachers no, para po hindi tayo malito kasi I already created one with digital report card. So, once you click done, teachers, it will now go in into the right side as well. At nakikita nyo na rin po siya dun sa taas ng ating Google site. Lalabas na rin po siya. Digital report card number 2. Okay. So, lahat po ng bago nyong ginagawang pages. Now, teachers, ito po yung uh, sort of like uh, landing page no, for the digital report card. So, pag uh, clinic po ni students to, it will bring her or him uh, dun sa inyong digital report cards. Pero hindi pa po dito yung um, report cards nila. No? So, you can put here reminders, etc., announcements, okay? Kasi po, what we're going to do, no, we're going to put all our report cards sa sub-page, okay? Para po mas organized tayo. Ito po nakikita nyo dito, teachers, na nagda-drop down, yung grade 11 and grade 12 na yan, mga sub-pages po yan, okay? So, how do we create a sub-page, okay? So, balik po tayo dun sa right side natin, sa page na ginawa natin kanina. Um, I-hover po natin yung mouse natin. May makikita po tayo chocolate chips. Hindi <laughs> na tawag nilang chocolate chips to. Or yung ellipsis. Okay? So, click natin yung three dot button na yan. Okay? At makakita na po tayo ng button na add sub-page. Okay? So, click natin teachers yung sub add sub-page na yan. Okay? And then, we have to name na grade na sub, um, um, sub-page sub teachers. No? Okay? So, this one, I recommend it to be by grade level. Okay? So, for example, I'm handling grade one. Okay? I'm going to add grade 1, okay? And then, I'm going to add one more uh, sub-page, okay? And then, I'm going to include grade 2, okay? Example, okay? So, those are my grade levels, no? Okay? So, if it's a school, for example, no, you're planning this uh, to use this system for the school, you can actually put all grade levels, grade 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, uh, and so on and so forth, okay? 
Now, once done, that's done teachers, no? Um, okay na tayo, no? So, when you click on that teacher, for example, clinic nyo yung digital report card, it will bring you to the page of the digital report card, okay? When you click on the sub-page, okay, for example, grade 1, it will bring you to the, uh, that sub-page, no, grade 1. Okay, that's uh, how it uh, looks like, okay? Now, teachers, I created already, no, um, uh, a page no, and sub-pages that we're going to explore. Okay. So, puntahan po natin itong ginawa ko. Ito yung digital report card. Okay. Then, I have two grade levels here. I have grade 11 and grade 12. Okay. So, punta po tayo sa grade 11. Okay. Yan. Okay. Nga, teachers. Okay. Um, you can customize the 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 image. No, You can put image. You can customize the font, etc. No? So, you can fully customize each page actually. Okay. Now here, teachers, uh, I simply added here a simple text, okay? Um, if you want to insert a text, punta po tayo sa insert and then text box, okay? So you can put insert here, uh, text here. Uh, just for example, no, maglalagay po kayo ng instructions, etc. Okay? Ito, teachers, erase ko lang, okay? Because uh, I'm going to repeat that for you, no? Okay, para makita niyo po, okay? Now, to, um, to create... Uh, an access link no for our students to their report cards okay gagamit po tayo ng tinatawag natin na buttons okay so buttons teachers is one of the uh, elements that you can insert in google sites okay so punta po tayo dun sa insert scroll down lang tayo teachers at makikita natin yung um, element na button okay so yan po yung insert natin teachers okay so click lang natin teachers yan button it will now ask you to name your button. So now, teachers, this now will be, should be by section. So, gagawa na po tayo ng mga button per section. For example, this one, grade 11, section 1. Okay. Now, link. We have to get the link kasi ito yung magdadala sa kanila. Okay? Uh, to uh, go to a particular website, to a particular um, file system. And what we want to do now is to link um, this button to their uh, report cards. Okay? So, how do we do that? Okay? So, pumunta po tayo, babalik tayo teachers dun sa ating Google Drive kung saan po tayo nag, uh, naggawa ng mga report cards natin kanina. Okay? So, we go to our dedicated report cards folder. Okay? Click natin yan. Okay? And then, we look for the corresponding section. Since I'm looking for uh, grade 11 section 1, so I'll get uh, grade 11 section 1 folder. Okay? Now, teachers, you will have to get the link of the folder, okay? Not of the documents inside, okay? So, kukunin po natin yung link ng folder na yan, okay? So, right-click natin, teachers, okay? And then, click natin, uh, get a link. Okay. Ngayon, teachers, I check natin. It should be the folder, no? As I already uh, mentioned to you kanina, should be, have the settings, anyone with the link, uh, and viewers mode, okay? Okay na tayo, nakaset na yan. Copy link na tayo, Okay? Copy link. Once you have copied the link, teachers, balik tayo din sa ating website. Okay? And then we paste the link here. Okay? Insert natin. Now, we have one button for that section. Okay? Now, let me repeat the process, teachers, no, for those who were not able to follow. Okay? Uh, this time, gagawa tayo ng button for section 2. Okay? So, balik ulit tayo sa insert. Scroll down tayo. Makikita natin yung button. Okay? Element. Um, lagay natin grade 11, section okay, 2. Okay. And then we go back or we go to, um, okay, check natin to. We'll get the link of uh, grade 11, section 2. We make sure that uh, it's anyone with the link, viewer, okay na tayo dyan. Okay, then we copy the link. Okay. Then we go back to Google Sites. We copy the link here. Insert. Okay. Now we have two buttons. Okay. Uh, for uh, each uh, one each for it uh, for the sections that we have. Okay. okay. Move lang natin to. Organize natin. We can act. You can actually drag teachers. No. Uh, reorganize the buttons if you'd like. Okay. So teachers na uh, imagine teachers na for example kung meron kayong like eight sections. So meron kayong eight buttons. Okay. Uh, for example, for each section. Okay? Para si students will have to click on, um, uh, we can give them instructions to click uh, the button corresponding to their section para organize din yung access. No? Okay? 
Okay, so now teachers, we're ready, no? That's already ready. Okay, once you've done that, okay? Uh, what's supposed to happen now, teachers, that if uh, you share the link to your students, okay? To this website, okay? And they go to that um, button, okay? It should bring them to their report cards, okay? So, um, balik tayo sa home natin, teachers, no? Uh, para makapi natin yung publish um, link natin. But before we do that, by the way, since gumawa po tayo ng mga changes sa ating Google Sites, wag po natin kakalimutan okay, na i-publish ito okay, para um, mag, uh, mag-online no, uh, yung mga changes na ginawa natin sa Google Sites. If you don't publish it, teachers, um, the students will not be able to see the changes you created. Okay? Baka wala pa po din yung mga buttons. Okay? So, let's uh, publish it, teachers. Now, once you have published, teachers, um, Google will ask you no, to verify if you really like to um, to to publish this. So, we're okay naman. Okay? So, publish natin yan. Okay? Now, once you have published it, teachers, nakalagay doon, your site has been published successfully. Ibig sabihin, this website is online. Okay? If we give the link to someone, they should be able to see the most recent edits for this website. Okay? So, next natin step, teachers, kukunin natin yung link natin. Okay? Dito sa taas. Okay? Um, Meron dyang uh, link button. Okay? So, let's click that, that link button. Sorry, i-close ko muna yan. Okay, so let's click on the link button. It will now show you the uh, publish link. No? Okay? Yan yung updated. Okay? So, let's uh, copy the link, teachers. Okay? Now, when you copy the link, teachers, you can share it anywhere. You can share it by a messenger, uh, text, you can uh, send it by email, etc. Okay? As long as they get the, the link, they will be able to access your website. Okay. Now it's time to test it teachers, okay? Uh, pupunta tayo ngayon dun sa Google accounts na ginamit natin kanina um, as uh, na, that we associated to the report cards that we made, no? Okay, para ma-test natin if indeed they will not be able to see the report cards of other students in the same folder. Okay, don't forget no, we share the same folder, but would they be able to see the the report all the report cards there o yung report cards ng nila? Ang goal natin report cards lang nila yung makita nila per student okay so i'm going to go now okay, uh, to my uh, to my kaagapay tc at gmail.com uh, account this is the one that we use for francine purio uh, report card okay. okay so let's um, go there okay. okay okay so teachers ayan na ipipaste natin yung link that we copied okay Okay, so now when the student access your link, it will bring them to your website. Okay, so ito na yung makikita ni student teachers. No? And si student, dahil siya ay grade 11, pupunta siya kay grade 11. Okay, okay ngayon teachers, no, si, si student makakita siya ng dalawang button. Yung ginawa natin buttons kanina, grade 11 section 1 at grade 11 section 2. Dahil siya ay section 1, pupunta siya kay section 1. Ito na yung moment of true teachers. Pag-click niya dito, dapat ang makita niya ay yung kanyang report card. Okay? We will see uh, if indeed no, this will happen. Yan, teachers. Nakita niyo po. Okay? Uh, ang nag-open po na ngayon na document ay yung sa kanya lang na file. Okay? So, ito po yung kay Francine Purio. Don't, don't, uh, if you notice, teachers, hindi niya nakita yung kay Margo. At yung kay Zeus, na tatlong ibang documents kanina. Don't forget, tatlong documents po yung nasa folder, no? Pero kay Francine Purio lang po ang nakikita niya kasi yun lang naka-assign sa kanya. Okay? So, that's going to happen, teachers, no? So, when the students click on the link, they should only be able to um, see um, the um, links associated to them. Let's li pa tayo ng isa pa, teachers. Mag-sample pa tayo para lang po makita niya fully how it happens, no? Uh, I'll go now to my... Um, my uh, saver account, okay? And this one is, um, okay? Okay. This one, teachers, okay, let's, um, Okay, so this one, teachers, um, I'm using now my um, saver email, okay? 
we use this email to uh, and link it to Margot Reformado. Okay, so we should be able to only see the document of Margot Reformado. Okay, so let's go to um, report card grade 11 din si Margot. Okay, and then uh, section one din si Margot. So he she clicks on section one. Okay, and there it is, teachers. No, so nakita niyo teachers ang nakita lang niyang report card ay yung kay Margot Reformado. Okay. So, that's how it should be, teachers, no? It would look like okay, uh, once um, uh, the, the students access your links, no? Okay. So, teachers, uh, that's um, for part, ano, no? Part 2 of our development of our automated uh, and individualized uh, digital report card uh, distribution system. Okay. We'll now proceed to part 3, which is the add-ons. So, I will also be um, teaching you how to... Um, uh, put uh, some other elements, uh, for example, acknowledgement receipt. Kung gusto niyo po mag-collect ng uh, signature from your parents, uh, from the parents, and as well as uh, comment section, no? if you'd like to solicit comments from your students. Okay, so teachers, uh, ito na sa last step na tayo, no? uh, ng ating uh, pag-build ng ating uh, automated and individualized digital report card distribution system. Okay. So, yung pangatlo nating part teachers, all about add-ons lang. So, these are optional na, no? So, actually, kung gusto nyo po mag-stop na sa step 2, actually, na-build nyo na yung inyong uh, uh, automated system, no? Ito lang, teachers, no? Some recommendations. Baka gusto nyo pong idagdag sa inyong um, um, automated report card distribution system. Um, so, yung una, yung tiyatawag ko na acknowledgement receipt, no? So, kung gusto po natin mag-solicit ng feedback at saka uh, signature from our parents, okay? Um, this is uh, an, a go-around, no? So, isa sa mga pwede nyo gamitin para makapag-collect ng documents sa uh, ating mga sudyante, okay? So, what we can do, teachers, is to create a Google form, okay? So, gumawa na rin po actually ako dito, no? Sa ating uh, kit na ibibigay po natin sa inyong lahat, okay? So, meron po tayo tinatawag na acknowledgement receipt form, okay? So, when you click on that, teachers, it contains um, um, a form, no? Okay? Um, and then it will ask them, for example, uh, their name, their section, uh, quarter, okay, the report card that they're viewing, okay. And then dito teachers, um, they will ask for an, a file upload, okay. So, ito na yung, for example, gusto natin mag-collect ng, uh, uh, ng signatures, okay, etc. Pwede rin teachers, ang gawin nyo dito, pwede rin kayong magpadala sa kanila ng form na kailangan nilang isign, tapos they will have to submit that using this um, this uh, file upload. Okay. So, pwede nyo pong ilagay, for example, mag-upload kayo ng PDF o kaya Google document dun sa loob ng ating Google site kanina uh, which they need to upload, uh, download, and then print, and then sign. Kaya lang yun nga, medyo uh, problematic pa yun for some parents, no? at saka some students, baka wala sila, maka may problema sa printers o kaya yun nga, sa pag-print ng mga documents. Okay. That's why, what I suggest is simply to ask them to sign on a clean sheet of paper Tapos, they will take a picture of it and they will attach that that uh, photo here as a proof of their signature and verification na nakita nila yung, um, yung report card. Okay? So now, teachers, kung pag natapos nyo na po yung Google form na yan, okay, pag bumalik po kayo dun sa inyong website no, na ginagawa natin kanina, okay, pwede nyo na pong i-insert yung, uh, yung, um, what you, yung, you can insert that, um, that form into your website, okay? So, punta, for example, punta tayo dun sa grade 11 natin kanina, ano? okay? So, kanina, meron tayo, nandiyan na yung buttons ng grade 11, i-rearrange lang ulit natin kasi na uusi lang ako ng konti, hindi sila pantay. Okay. Okay. And teachers, uh, when we want to insert a form, okay, punta lang ulit tayo dun sa insert bot, uh, insert tab, okay? Click natin yung insert, uh, mag, let's uh, scroll down, makikita natin sa baba yung forms, okay? Let's click on that, teachers, okay, forms, okay, and it will now show you all the forms that you have na pwede mong insert and um, usually the most recent na, na ginamit mo, kaya that's why ang ginagawa ko, teachers, no, para mas madali ko siya makita, inu-open ko muna yung form na gagamitin ko para it will always appear on top kasi the most recent yan, okay. So, ito yung document, ito yung form na gusto nating insert, yung acknowledgement recent, recent, uh, receipt form, no. So, let's insert that, okay. Okay, when you click insert teachers, it will go directly to the form, uh, to the 
uh, website. No? At teachers, ang maganda dito, live to sa loob ng website nyo. Naka-embed to teachers. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, si parent or si student okay, will no longer have to go out of your website to be able to accomplish it. They will be able to accomplish it right there and then sa loob ng inyong website. So, you can uh, resize it. I'm just resizing it para mas um, organized tayo. Okay. 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 Napasobra yata. <laughs> so, yan teachers, no? So, you can resize. So, yan ay magiging view ng mga students natin. So, once they uh, open your website, teachers, for example, nag-click sila ng kanilang uh, uh, report cards. After nila mag-click ng report cards nila, babalik sila dun sa website and they will now um, uh, fill out this form. Okay, so nakalagay, for example, dito, this form confirms that you have viewed your report card and have been informed of your grades for the quarter. Okay, so again, as a uh, proof that we have uh, informed our parents. Okay, so that's one teachers. Now that's one add-on that you can uh, consider. Okay, the second add-on is actually what we call a uh, comment section. Okay, ito naman comment section teachers. I'd like to um, uh, suggest no that you use what they call a Padlet. Okay, um, so Padlet teachers. No, let me go to Padlet. Padlet is uh, an interactive board that you can. Um, uh, uh, freely used, no? Although, alam ko po yung free account niya may limitation in the number of padlets na pwede niyong gawin. Okay? So, dito teachers, nakagawa na ako ng uh, padlet ko no, for my comment section. Okay? But it's so easy to use to, to uh, make teachers, no? Dito ka lang pupunta ka lang sa make a padlet and you will now have a uh, options, no? Uh, and um, um, uh, steps, no? How to create one. Okay? So, for example, open natin itong ginawa kong uh, Padlet for my um, comment section. Okay, so, this is how it looks like. Okay? And let me just tell you how you're going to uh, embed this. No? Or how, you, how are you going to put this into your website? Okay? Para diretso makikita ng mga students natin. Okay? So, um, so, for example, teachers, ito na, yun, no? ito na yung comment section. Okay? So, that's uh, how it looks like. No? At pag nag-comment yung mga estudyante mo, teachers, it will appear in this space. Okay? Now, how do we share, uh, how do we put this in our website? Okay? So, what you do, teachers, dun sa upper uh, right corner, okay? Okay, pakita ko lang. Yan. Meron ka makikita dyang share button. Okay? So, click lang natin yung share button na yan, teachers. When you click on that, okay? It will now uh, allow you multiple ways to uh, to share it. Okay? What we want, teachers, is to embed it. Okay? So, hanapin po natin, teachers. Let's scroll down. Okay? Uh, we will choose this option to share it. Embed in your blog or your website. Okay? So, yan po ipipiliin natin. Okay? Um, okay, magalala, teachers. Wala po itong programming level na uh, programming requirements. No? So, click natin yung teachers. Embed in your blog or website. Yan. Dami codes, teachers. But don't. Pag po kayo malula, teachers. No? Well, uh, teachers, ito lang kailangan yung uh, tandaan. No? Itong unang um, data, no? itong embed code sa taas, okay? which is called the full embed. Okay? Yan po ang kailangan natin. Okay? So, just simply click the copy dun sa baba. Nakalagay po dun sa baba, no? copy. Let's just click on that. Okay? And you have now copied the embed code uh, into your clipboard. Okay? Now, we go back to our website. Okay? We now go back to our website. No? So, we're still in grade 11 uh, page. Okay? Uh, we have now um, sections uh, for the buttons. We have the acknowledgement receipt. We're now going to add a comment section. If they want to leave a comment or etc., um, that's what we're going to do. No? Okay? Or um, we're going to insert. Now, how to insert an embed uh, code no? or an external uh, website? So, this is what we do. Sa insert nyo, teachers, sa insert tab, you go on top. Okay? You have uh, these options. Uh, and one of the options here is embed. Okay? So that's what we want. Okay? That's what we're going to use. That's the element we're going to insert. So let's click on that. Okay? Embed. Okay? And then, uh, there are two ways to embed. A URL or embed code. We're using embed code. Okay? So let's just uh, click on that embed code. And then paste. Let's just paste the embed code we copied earlier. Okay? Let's paste that. That's that very, very long uh, embed code. And let's just click next. Okay. Now, teachers, um, 
this is what they were going to insert, the Padlet, no? And we insert that, teachers. See? Now, we have a fully operational uh, comment section in our website. Let's just expand that. Okay? And what, teachers, what's good about this, since we embedded this, no? Why, what's, what's the difference between uh, if you copy the URL? Because you can also copy the URL of that Padlet, no? Um, what happens, teachers, that if you copy the URL, okay? Uh, sometimes no it does it brings them out of the website okay so uh lalo na pag external okay um so mas safe pa rin for me no okay uh, um in many cases uh, i always do embed code okay para sure na naka-embed siya sa website and what happens teachers that your students okay, can directly comment inside your website no, using this uh, platform so let's just wait for it to load, teachers, para po makita nyo how it looks like. Okay. Okay. Yan. Okay. So teachers, ito na po yung itsura ng uh, Padlet nyo sa loob ng uh, website nyo. Let's just drag it a little bit more para we could see the... Because we could actually write here directly, no? Okay. Yan. So, lalabas na rin teachers doon yung options to say something. So, when the students want to send you a message, comments, they simply have to type here on the say something um, portion. Okay. Now, teachers, let's now uh, preview it. No? How does it look like to your students no, when they click the link? No? Okay. So, this is now how it looks like. So now the student will see uh, the buttons where they can see their report cards. Okay? They will also see a, a fill out form and they will also see a comment section. Yeah. So they can also type there, for example, hello. Thank you for the grades. Okay, and then they will post it. Okay? And then there it goes. Okay, it goes to the um, 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 wall right away. No? The, the students, everyone can actually see it. Okay, you can see it. The students can see it. Okay, um, so teachers, no, that's um, uh, the two uh, add-ons that we can use, no, and we can add um, into our um, into our digital report card distribution system, uh, just to make it more um, um, better, no. Now let's exit that. No, last one. Okay, you might also want to consider um, putting the awards, no. So you can actually also. Aside from the digital report card page, you can put up a page here called awards. Okay? For example, right here, I put a uh, awards um, page. Okay? So that if you'd like to also post okay, um, awardees okay? um, and let them know that they are awardees, okay? you might want to also do this. For example, so if you click on the teachers, you can see here, um, you can put features <clears throat> and then you can put the labels. No? So for example, this is a sample. <laughs> Of us, uh, three of us, okay. So uh, I'm a second honors, first honors, and then uh, Mr. Maliari, subject ex excellence in mathematics. No, that's very simple to do, teachers. No, um, to do that format, you have here layouts, okay. Dito po sa side, okay. Those are the layouts if you'd like to insert features with text. Okay, so you can choose this, for example, one picture and then text. You can put um, two pictures and text, all pictures. Uh, the one that I use here is the three pictures with. Ah, sorry, tama. The three pictures with name, uh, with uh, headings and subheadings. Okay. So it's all up to you how you're going to manage that. So that will make no your website complete. No? So they can see the report cards, they can see the awards, uh, they can put um, uh, questions okay, uh, or comments. They can also send you their acknowledgement receipt to their report cards. Okay. So the teachers uh, brings no to the to our to uh, to um our um session for the day to an end okay if you have questions okay we will conduct a uh, a training session for this no or you'd, if you'd like to also you can also invite us uh, to go to your uh, schools okay or to meet your your teachers okay uh, to train them on how to use this system uh, we were we will be more than uh, glad no to uh, help your teachers no learn how to um, uh, do this no on their own okay para they become more independent um as well as teachers, no, uh, we'll be sending you uh, a complete kit, no, uh, for you to use um, templates, okay, uh, reminders, step by step um, um, setup uh, to guide you. And of course, this video, 
uh, will be uh, available no, uh, for you to go back to if there's something that you don't understand that you forgot um, uh, during your uh, construction or building your um, your digital report card distribution system. Okay, so teachers, um, that uh, will be ending no, with some reminders okay, um, for you to maximize the use of this system. Okay, so teachers, um, before we end, no, some reminders on uh, using this system. Okay, so unang una teachers, uh, medyo mahirap lang talaga siya sa una, no, if you'd notice, no, uh, uh, creating the report cards, okay, sharing the report cards uh, individually to your students, um, etc. No? But once again, no, since sabi ko po sa new teachers, no, once you have set up uh, all of this at the start of the year, at the quarter, uh, it will be uh, a breeze, no, uh, sobrang dali na po nito po nito pagdating na second quarter third quarter tsaka fourth quarter kasi ang gagawin na lang teachers babalikan niyo na lang yung mga Google documents na ginawa niyo at doon niyo na lang ulit ilalagay yung mga grades nila for second quarter, third quarter and fourth quarter nang walang kahirap-hirap. Okay? So that's uh one teachers no. And also just second reminder, napakahalaga po ng sharing settings no. So always always double check before you publish your website kasi uh, we don't want um uh, uh, ano no, uh, miss sharing o kaya magkaroon ng problem sa sharing, baka ma-access ng lahat ng students yung lahat ng report cards, okay? Uh, or uh, always check yung editing permission, baka ma-edit nila yung kanilang mga uh, document at magkalabo-labo tayo in terms of their grades. Uh, gusto mo natin iwasan yun, no? Okay, so please make sure uh, to, uh, to double-check no, your sharing settings before publications, okay? And um, of course, no, lastly, teachers, no, um, for to help you out, Okay, we have created this uh, automated and individualized um, card distribution kit, no, uh, which you can follow and use. Uh, what we have here, teachers, are the templates, no. Uh, so we have the templates for um, for the report cards that you can use. Uh, I also put here uh, a template if you plan to use the autocrat. Okay, so there's also a template here that you can use uh, if you're planning the autocrat for uh, automation, aut automated generation of the report cards. Okay. Uh, I also put here, teachers, I already shared, also shared with you the digital report card template so you can pattern your, um, your report card, your, uh, your Google site after this. You might want to revisit it, etc. Okay? And also the acknowledgement uh, receipt form. Okay? Uh, you may also access this um, through this um, link. No? And to guide you, teachers, no? uh, all throughout, pag bigla po may nakalimutan kayo, uh, etc. Naglagay na rin po ako dito ng text-based um, step-by-step setup. Okay? So you can follow these teachers. No? Um, I uh, put uh, in a very complete manner lahat po ng steps na ginawa natin kanina dito sa video na to. No? Uh, para pwede nyo po siyang sundan. Okay? So yan po, pwede nyo po i-download yan, i-print, um, or i-distribute no? if you'd like to set up your, um, your automated and individualized Digital Report Card Distribution System. Okay, and lastly, teachers, as always, no, uh, do uh, contact us if you need further assistance. Uh, we're available at kaagapaytc at gmail.com. You may also want to uh, check my uh, my Facebook um, account okay, uh, to message me at Franco um, or uh, sorry, our Facebook page at Kaagapay Teacher Support. Okay, and of course, you may also always no uh, are welcome to go back to this video here in our YouTube channel at um, www.youtube.com um, slash Franco Nicolo Adun. And please don't forget to subscribe uh, so that you'll uh, always be informed no, of upcoming videos okay, uh, from our channel. Okay, So thank you teachers and uh, hope that uh, this uh, uh, session helps you in um, making it easier for you to distribute your report cards uh, in our um, uh, distance learning modality. Okay, have a nice day, teachers. So, hello, teachers. Uh, thank you so much for uh, joining us in this uh, our session for integration for today. Uh, we hope to see you again next time uh, for yet another uh, use of technology for education. Okay, so please don't forget to uh, hit that uh, subscribe button and notification bell to be uh, updated with uh, all other our recent videos for this channel. Okay, have a nice day, teachers, and we'll see you again.